Float trip, we out here. On your tip, bro. Yeah, I kind of topped it off. Two stroke on there, bro. Sure, you dirty boy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I thought we'd be riding today, so I wanted to fill it up real nice. Well, that was kind of sketchy, but I got this hole a little bigger and I'm like shaking right now getting this roof hatch up. This is $438. Um, it's a marine roof hatch. I'm gonna get it in this hole. I might have to cut this back. We're gonna have a sweet skylight situation. Man, this is kicking my ass, but I'm getting it in there. I need some longer screws. Got it tagged in. It's made for a flat surface, so I'm just beefing up the butyl tape and uh, should hold pretty good. I'll gob it up with. Um, I got some wax sealant to seal it up with. Man, it's hot. It's smoky, too. This vent's gonna be so cool, though. Look at it. Here it is, guys, all installed. I'm leaving the film on until I coat the roof just because I know if I take it off, it's gonna get beat up. And gunk on it so works like a dream it's a little hard with one hand uh, and you just twist these down holds it in place you can have it any angle and this even has little notches so you can just barely have it cracked and locked in uh, i thought that's kind of cool and it locks as well this slides uh, locks that in place so pretty sweet I'm really excited, you guys. That was uh, it was over 400 bucks, but pretty worth it, man. Uh, that's really gonna make the living room pop. Walking in and all that natural light, it's gonna feel really open. And I guess makes it easy to get up on the roof if that's your thing, if you're ever feeling it. I'm not gonna do like a roof deck or anything like that. I'm really not into that, but it'd be nice every once in a while pop up on the roof, soak in a sunset or something. I'm gonna finish patching these up. There's a few in the front. These were the holes from the old strobe flashers. Uh, there's these weird holes. There's like a government tracking device in them. No big deal. Got rid of that. Some weird microchip. Just gonna get the roof uh, ready to coat. Hopefully get it watertight because I'm going to sugar beet harvest all of October and uh, November in Montana, it's usually snowing by then. so. Not a lot of time to do this, you guys. Uh, I'm down to like two weeks, so, and I'm still working four tens at my job, so it's getting a little uh, down to the wire, but we'll get it done. 